Hey, it's time for another everyday getaway. And it's Tuesday again. It's a nice fall, rainy, cool day, but this is a special Tuesday. We are joining together with several content creators to join with Joanne Salas for Friendsgiving. So everybody's putting together some great recipes for Thanksgiving and sharing them with you. So we invite you to tune in today with us, but also uh, jump on those links that uh, are going to be listed in the description and uh, check out those other channels, especially Joanne. And Joanne, we thank you so much for putting this together for us. Okay, so what are we making today? We're making pumpkin cheesecake dream bars. Oh, that sounds good. They do sound really good. And I'm not a huge pumpkin pie fan. I like more whipped cream on the top than I do the pumpkin. So I think this will be nice because it's got some cream cheese in there. It's got a nice ginger snap crust and whipped cream on top. So I think it'll I think it'll be good. Hey, this is a, takes a little bit of longer time, but let's join us in the kitchen, please. All right. dream cheesecake bars it's a layered dessert so there's three layers I'm gonna start with the crust and the ingredients for the crust are one and a half cups of uh, ginger snaps that we've crushed Doug's already taken care of that and a half a stick of unsalted butter then we're gonna to go to a cheesecake layer the cheesecake layer has two blocks of cream cheese two eggs a cup of sugar a teaspoon of vanilla and then we've got a pumpkin layer we got to get some Thanksgiving in there so that has a cup of pumpkin puree it's got some spices and uh, you can kind of play around with those. I'm using pumpkin pie spice with a little bit of extra cinnamon and ginger. And then at, after everything's fixed, we're gonna put a little dollop of whipped topping and a few more ginger snaps. All right, let's get baking. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start making our crust here. I'm gonna take the ginger snaps and I'm gonna mix it in with our butter. While I'm doing this, I wanna take a couple of seconds and. Thank Joanne for inviting us again. Please check out all the links that we have out there. Check all those channels out. Please subscribe to them. It really helps them out a lot. And they are some wonderful channels. So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this together. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take our crust and I'm gonna put it in our pan. It's a nine by 13 pan. Uh, once I get it pressed down in there, I'm going to put it in the oven for about eight minutes and then I'm going to set it to the side just to let it cool a little bit before we start putting other stuff on top of it. And while Doug's working on that crust, it did have us line the baking pan with parchment. So we have a little bit of parchment in there and we sprayed below just so the parchment kind of sticks and getting that crust going. Okay, so I got our crust made. I'm going to stick this in the oven for about eight minutes at 350 and it should make it a nice and what do you call it crunchy base crunchy base. <laughs> <laughs> all right cream cheese layer we're going to start with two blocks of melted cream cheese well not melted but softened softened yeah get all that on there i think this is not my best Tool there. All right, so we'll get both of those in, and we're just going to start by whipping those up until they're nice and creamy. Then we'll add the other ingredients to them. All right, I think our cream cheese is nice and mixed up a bit here. We're going to add to that the sugar, the eggs, and the vanilla, and keep mixing. So two eggs going in one cup of granulated sugar whoops got some cream cheese on me and a teaspoon of vanilla plus a little splash for measure there. all right all right doug how'd that crust turn out it looks pretty good and it smells really good yes it does we are ready to Get some cream cheese going. We do have to let this cool a little bit before we put the cream cheese on, and then we'll get started with the pumpkin mixture for the top. I think we could eat. All right, let's get this pumpkin layer going here. We're gonna go a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, and then I'm gonna add a little extra ginger and cinnamon. So I'm gonna go 
quarter of a teaspoon of ginger. Ginger is such a strong flavor and we already have the base. And a, another half teaspoon of cinnamon and get that mixed up. Smells like Thanksgiving fall. All right, we love trying new things. And so this is a new dessert for us. If you're watching for the first time, thank you for being with us. Doug and I are retired teachers. We love experiences, trying new things and adventuring out. We love travel. And all that to say, this is a new recipe and I just tried this and I think it needs sugar. So I know the recipe doesn't call for it, but hey, we're all about making it our own and adventuring. So we're throwing in about a half, well, fourth of a cup of sugar, I think. We'll see. I think this will help out a little bit. We've let the crust cool for a bit. We're gonna go on with the cheesecake layer. This is gonna go back into the oven and uh, we'll get this cheesecake layer spread out evenly over the crust. Then we'll go back with the pumpkin layer also. There are a few spots where I think our cream cheese could have been a little more softened. I think everything will be okay, but maybe a little bit more time setting out. All right, looks like a yummy cream cheese layer. Get this finished smoothed out. We'll go back with some pumpkin. All right, the recipe then says we're gonna add this pumpkin layer to the top and smooth that out. I think Doug and I have talked, I feel like the best way to do this without making a huge mess since our cream cheese is soft is to do some dollops and then spread from the dollops. So we're gonna go across gently to try to get this pumpkin spread out a little bit on its own and then we'll try to smooth it. All right, let's start from here and then we'll see how we're doing here. Well, this is not the easiest layer. Swirling might be a better, but I don't really want it swirled inside. So it might be, we'll just gently smooth and it'll kind of smear a little bit on its own, I guess. Doug, you got a better idea? Nope, I think this will work. Well, we've got all the layers together. I will say that the top of this does look very fally, um, very autumny. I'm not sure it's gonna look exactly like the picture we saw, but I'm kind of thinking that the picture we got with this original recipe may have been AI generated because the layers are, are thicker, like the pumpkin layer looks much thicker than what we have here for this pan. But pumpkin cheesecake is delicious, so even if it is this little swirled on the top, I think we've got ourselves a good layered dessert here. We're gonna get this in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes and we'll see what happens. This baked for 35 minutes. It comes out clean. It's also on the, when you shake it a little bit, the center, it seems sturdy. So I think we're good and done. We're gonna cool it to room temperature and then it goes into the refrigerator for two to three hours to set before we can eat it. So the more time I think in the fridge, to have it fully set is a little bit better, but it looks really pretty, smells really good. All right, so the pumpkin dream cheesecake bars have sat in the fridge for several hours. We've taken it out. It doesn't look as thick as we expected and it really doesn't look exactly like the picture that we uh, took the recipe from, but it does look very folly and we love a good cheesecake. So we will slice this up a bit here. Um, the ginger snap crust has a little snap to it down there. Nice creamy cheesecake pumpkin filling. We'll get us a couple good slices and add some whipped cream. All right, the best part of a normal pumpkin pie is some whipped topping. So we'll add us a pretty little dollop on the top of both. And we're gonna add a few of those ginger snap crumbs that we have left over. And we're excited to give this a taste. That looks like Thanksgiving on a plate, at least Thanksgiving dessert on a plate. Hey 
Hey, I think that this looks really pretty. It does. It looks very Thanksgiving-y, fall -y. Love a good cheesecake, love some ginger snaps. Has a good smell to it. Yeah, it does, so. And it wasn't hard. It took a while, but it wasn't hard. Right, but you know, if you're making a Thanksgiving meal, you're used to taking time to do the different things. Right. So this would be one that would fill in between getting other things together, I exactly think. Exactly right. Let's give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna give this one a nice little try here. Has really good um, pumpkin cheesecake flavor. I really like the crust. The crust is about the right thickness. This is something I would recommend that would be really nice at a Thanksgiving dinner. All right, here it goes. Mm, I love the fall spices. Not overwhelming with the pumpkin, so if you don't like tons of pumpkin, got a nice cheesecake layer and the crust really is good. Overall, I would do this again and I think that we might have this at Thanksgiving, we'll see. Hey, we wanna thank everyone for joining us today. Hit that like button, hit that share button. We thank all of you that have already subscribed. If you haven't already, take a couple of seconds, hit that subscribe button for us. It doesn't really cost you anything. Well, it doesn't cost you anything, but it really does help us out. Absolutely, and hey, it's Friendsgiving, so we wanna thank all of our subscribers. We are thankful for you. And Joanne, thank you for doing this. We are thankful for you and our friendship. Even though we've never met in person, we count you as a friend and we're thankful for that friendship. And please check all those channels out. All right. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Take care of yourselves. Take care of others. And we will see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.